Welcome to FanCast, episode 29. I am your host, Jeremy, known as Skullcap1218. And I have my co-host, V-Man, the Layback Fan. Hey, what's up? Nothing. What about you? Nobody cares. Oh, wait, I kind of do. I'm great. How about everybody? Is everybody doing good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fixing. I'm fi- I'm fricy. I'm f- or fixy or fricy or whatever. So, um... Today, um, in entertainment news, <laughs> entertainment news. I sound like a real reporter in entertainment news. Everything else is okay. Um, now, um, what I want to talk about is the uh, coming up at, um, in May is uh, level level up expo L V L up expo. If you want to go ahead and follow them, go ahead, um, on Twitter. That's exactly how you p- uh, put it on there. It's an uh, anime. Anime, Gaming, Design, and Technology, and Comics uh, Expo. It's just basically like a mini-sized Comic-Con. And, you know, you just... just so much, like, you know, there's, like, old games, new games. Um, people, uh, uh, you know, indie gamers are, are there. Uh, you know, it's just like, yeah, everything. You know, artists, cosplayers. There's going to be uh, video game tournaments. Like, um... Mario, Mario Eight, um, Super Smash Brothers. I think Halo was going to be there. Uh, Black Ops uh, Three um, is going to be there, and uh, costume contests. So if uh, anybody wants to join, uh, tickets are. See here, two day pass VIP is sixty five dollars. Oh yeah, it's um, May fourteenth and the fifteenth. It's only for two days because that's all we need. Um, there's special guests too. So if you want uh, VIPs for two days, it's $65. But if you just re- want regular two-day passes, it's $40. And if you want to just go one day like I might, I'm thinking about going Saturday. And and then there's the Sunday by itself, $25. If you want to do one-day pass, no big deal if you just want to go one day, even though you have no time, money, or or anything else. <sighs> Should add more to that. <laughs> so um, I was thinking about going because uh, last year I had a blast. There was this, uh, there was this van where um you, you can uh rent it out for like two two hundred and fifty dollars and it's a it's a party it's a party van where outside people are playing video games on two big screen TVs and they're playing Smash Brothers or or newer games and no newer games or older games whatever. Inside there's four screens and it's like like uh, a VIP lounge, you know, nice seating in the van and and you're just playing video games, whatever you want to play. So um, I think that was amazing. That was cool from last year. Um, they had uh, they had some gaming tournaments I couldn't go to because I didn't even know where to sit. It was just a lot of chairs and a lot of computer screens, so I couldn't see that. But there was a lot of uh, Maxim Comics was there. Um, t-shirt uh, Shark Shark Robot. They had some cool T-shirts. Uh, they were there. I bought um, a Mega Charizard print. Uh, this one gr- nice girl did it and. Um, she was cool, so um, twelve bucks, and it's hanging on my wall right now. She like captured it, like she saw it in the wild and started sketching. That's how great it looks. That's why I like original art. It's just amazing. A um, lot of cosplayers there. My brother was there. You know, Matt of Madness when he once in a while comes on the podcast. Yeah, it's okay if he doesn't come on. It's it's up to him. But um, he was a uh, the Shadow Guard, all black. Not the it's the Shadow Guard from the Return of the Jedi. But not the all red. There's an all black one from a video game, I guess. I, old Republic, I'm assuming. Um, he has his own lightsaber. That was cool. He had he had his friend there. She was a a, a snow stormtrooper. Um, and then uh, there was a costume contest. I the one okay. I liked all costume contests, but the one that was my favorite was if anybody ever saw Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, and you ever see Markiplier play, um, he's hilarious. I would recommend go see him play because he is just, every time I play, I, every time I watch him play that game, uh, even though sometimes there's some no spooky things, he ends up freaking out and then I end up freaking out. So it's like his fault for me freaking out in the first place. So, um, what happened was, uh, a group of, uh, this one girl who was, see, Markiplier's signature has a pink mustache. I don't know why he has it, but it's his signature move. So, he had a, he had this girl in the front, um, in the middle of the stage. She had the pink mustache. She was sitting there, and then she was pretending like she was the guard, like, in the game, because the game is, like, you're guarding Chuck E. Cheese, and these 
these animatronics are popping. When they pop up, that means you're dead. They they took you and stuffed you in one of their animatronics or something like that. So what they did was they did cutouts of like all the characters uh, from the game, and every time and they were and then they play when he plays. So when he was saying something, she was like m- uh, mimicking him a little bit, and they play that all the way through. And every time like you hear a noise, like one of the animatronic cutouts popped up so it was really cool they won like second place for group no first place for group and you know she started crying and i was about to cry because it was just emotional because they were perfect they they were so in sync of what they were doing so i like seeing stuff like that you know you don't have to be perfect of what you have your costumes but what they had was amazing so it didn't matter as long as you did it and you have a great effort and anything that you do and you love what you do you can achieve everything and anything, and you can go in some stuff for it or just have fun with it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. Even the people who think they're perfect, they're not perfect. Trust me. So, um, yeah, that's but that's it, and I cannot wait to go this May, um, the 14th and the 15th of May. Oh, <laughs> silly me. It's in Las Vegas, Nevada, Cashman Center. <laughs> Telling people to go somewhere, and they don't even know what building to go to. <laughs> How silly me. Anyway, so... Um, I got a message today, you know, f- a message from Facebook from V Man here, and he's telling me he wanted to say something on the podcast about people talking about other people. I I didn't get it, so it fully fill me in of what you were talking about on that phone, because half the time I don't know you talk what you're talking about. I'm just kind of curious about that. Oh, jeez. I just want to. I just see my phone that people are taking the whole. You know, either Captain America side, Iron Man side, like two series. Was it on your post or was it just on somebody's post? It was on the original post. What were they saying? They said, like, anybody who's on Iron Man side, stupid, who like being on his side. Oh, brother. Well, you gotta remember, it's fanboys and. It's like there's fans where, you know, they like everything, like me, and then there's fanboys that I hear that. They go over and beyond for no reason at all, and they think they're right, and then they just want to be heard and stuff. And then they get jealous of other people doing stuff, so they get all mad. So then they just want to be they just want to be heard. That's all they do. So they write shit like that, and then you want, and then they just say, "Hey, look at me! I'm right here." So you might as well be wearing pink. Um, and did you like? Did you defend anybody, or were you just reading it? You know. That's what happens. I mean, if we get more in detail of what we're doing with our podcast, I mean, with the yeah, with the podcast, with our channels, we're going to get some negative people because it's just most like Chris Harbour says, it's just mostly people that, you know, they're feeling down on themselves or, you know, they think, you know, people are better because, you know, they got everything. They think they got everything. They think they got their things all worked out. So they just start, you know, getting on people, you know, you know, hating on people because they hate themselves. And, and it's, you know, it's just sad because, you know, I've kind of I haven't done it where I did it in somebody's face. Yeah, he had a good point. Why would you comment people on the Internet if you don't want to do it in their front of their face? You know, it's like you suck. Would you do that in front of his face, even though he's muscle? No. Um. But I never really comment anybody on that. I mean, I try to give positive attitudes. But, yeah, there's some times where I'm a little moody and, and I was like, oh, man, this guy sucks and he has everything. But I don't say that to them because, you know, they have, they're have they on a different level. See, everybody has a different level in life. And when you're at a certain level, yeah, they got everything and you have this because you are not at that level yet. So if you want to get that level, start working hard. Or unless you want to just be moody all day. There was a thing I had where it said something about crap. I gotta remember this. Uh, people either either you're gonna be that person that just complains and criticizes people, or you want to be the person that dreams and be successful in life. Pick which one you want to be. You know what? Even though I do get moody a lot, like today I got moody. Uh, maybe because it was you know hot outside. I don't know. It just happens with me. So I pick success. I just need to push myself more and believe in myself like others and God. So anyway, um, then I can, you know, go into the next level. Like, hey, think if anybody Dragon Ball Z fans out there, uh, think of like Goku, like Super Saiyan God Blue or is it Super Saiyan God? What's with this SSJ God Blue or there's a J everybody keeps putting. What is that? 
You know what I'm talking about? When they put the when they put the capital, they they go S S J B or something. You know what I'm talking about? Or I think it has to do something with the episodes. I haven't been watching because yeah, I because I'm not reading. I, what? What? No, the first one has to do with the new episodes. Yeah, because I am not reading those. Yeah, English dub. No. Oh. Yeah, English dub. Oh, if you want to know what that beeping is, it's just um, somebody's trying to call me and we're ignoring her for for the moment. I'll call her back later. Um, I'm not reading English nothing until I, because you know I was I was actually watching one for like two minutes and he was building up to uh, Goku was building up to be uh, he was Super Saiyan God Blue. Then he went up to Ko Ken Ten and I was reading it. I got the feel, but I would have got more intense and more into the feel if I would have just heard him speak than me reading it half the time. So it just loses something for me if I I'm looking down reading while he's doing something up above. So that's just me. Anything else? What they were saying that you know? Hey, oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. The guy that is saying that um, you know, oh if you're with Iron Man, uh, you know, is stupid. You're the one who gave me a thing where Spider Man up there. There was a picture that you sent me on Facebook saying, look, uh, anybody who um. Who likes uh, who's on Team Cap? Laugh at him, and it's like wow. So I so I wrote laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> so I think you're kind of part of the part of the problem too, you know, Team Iron Man. Ooh, I cannot wait for that podcast, man. We're gonna go at it. We're gonna do it. But you know, I understand what you're talk what you were talking about. See, we're having fun when we go at it, but there are people who's like you suck. No, you suck this, and you do that. It's like. Come on, guys. How about we enjoy ourselves for a little bit? So then, you know, when all the hype is gone and then when years go by, you're like, you know what? I remember that session when I when you see that movie again. It's like, I'm glad I didn't go over and beyond like everybody else. So so any, uh, anything else with that? Uh, what else were they saying? Yeah, she was like, we were Captain Iron Man's side. Never with the comics. Why? I guess that the 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 comics did not Captain America side. Wait, so if you're on Iron Man's side, you read comics or you didn't read comics? That you never that you never saw the the Civil War comics. What does that have to do with the movie? I guess if you read the comics, then you probably wouldn't be on Captain America side. The comics is way different than what they're talking about in the movie. See, there's a different situation than the comic books. The comic books was way different. See, that's where that's another thing with fanboys. They're confusing with like it's not off the comics. It's based off comics. It says in the corner on the bottom right. It says it. It's just not the comics. If you want the comics, ask them to make an anime for you or something. But you know, if you want something fresh, there it is. The movie. You know, I want something fresh. I don't want something where, um, you know, you you read it already, but I, I really don't want to see it. You know, I, I read it. I know what's happening. It's like with The Walking Dead. You know, they're doing it from the comics, but it's but they're doing it a lot different. You know, they got Daryl Dixon. He was never a part of the comics. They added him. So, you know, I like when they do something different because it keeps it fresh. So it keeps you like interested. If everybody knew it was in the comics, nobody would watch the movie. I mean, yeah, okay, live action, but you know how the plot is. And then everybody would be complaining, oh, it's just like the comics. Couldn't they just be original? So it's like nobody can ever win. Well, any any other – was there like an outrageous comment on there that you can say? Yeah, no. I don't even saw a couple. So was that – so then all, all, that was all it? Yeah. Yeah, that's just a case of fandom. They they're just going over and beyond then just enjoying all the hype that's what's happening. You know, it it's just sad with me. Um so, uh since all that is said, it's situation time. Now, I was thinking about this the other day. I like mythical creatures. I like thinking um you know like you know if Pitfog is out there or um the Yeti or the Mermaid or the Jersey Devil, you know, you know, you know, it's cool to think about, but 
could they really exist? It's just the mysteries. But you know what? If you really think about it, if we find them, do you know the mystery just goes away? Because now we're all like getting all hyped up because you know, oh, it could be out there. Oh, it was there. Oh, it might be there. But then, then when we find one, then it's like, oh. They do exist. Okay. Next. It's, it just ruins. I think it just ruins it. Maybe they should keep it as a secret so we can assume and try to plot, like, what it can do and what it is and what, you know, like, all its habits and stuff. So here's the situation. It, um, if you got yourself a loan or money from somebody or you had money and you had the crew and you go get the supplies and you had a week and you wanted to go find a legendary creature like one of your like you really wanted to go find it not just to be famous just to you know cuz you want to see it for yourself which creature would you want to go find and why um, you going first i thought you were going first <laughs> yeah I, i'll go first um i think um the one i might i wouldn't mind going to is um uh, who did I th I was thinking um at first I would say Megalodon cuz it sounds so cool because it, it you know it was around for so long and now they're saying it was extinct now they're saying it's not but then I found out it's not mythical it's a th creature that exists and all that stuff so I can't count that but mermaids the reason why see I don't like the water but I would go there anyway cuz I was saw a thing on uh finding mermaids like a couple years ago and this guy was uh, saying that there were some humans that you know, uh, you know, were on land, and there were some that went back in the water, and they lived their lives. And then they had a circus, uh, like they had a, like a uh, a thing like after that, like a year later, they had like a cover story, like a like an update on that. And somebody had it where in a circus, like long ago, they said they had a mermaid, and they had it all sketched out, and like back in the old days where they didn't take a picture, they had to draw it, and it would look pretty cool. It had like black eyes. It had a cool head. It had uh, hand fins and then the tail of a fish, you know, like a dolphin or whatever. And then they said before they even showed it live, it got burnt down. So nobody's seen it. But they show some people went into a submarine and went down there. And like as they were like looking around, a hand pops up with the same thing and he had the same like eyes and head so it's like oh crap it looks like it's real but they can't really find because maybe they're like scattered somewhere but i think they'd be kind of cool to find that because you know it's in the water and stuff so i don't know why it just fascinates me it's just it's just a cool creature looking maybe it's just it's just something i wouldn't mind like looking up uh what about you do you have a you have a creature or you know or a common one that everybody wants to find, or is there a specific one that you want to go find? Yeah, probably Bigfoot. You want to be the first guy to say, "Hey, I found Bigfoot." Now what? <laughs> yeah, possibly he's the most uh, he's the most talked about person. I know, right? That creature is so talked about. They're saying they see him everywhere: Alaska, uh, the Yeti in the mountains somewhere. You know, they see this thing. It's so fun. Oh, a swap monster. No, swamp skunk Bigfoot or whatever they call it. They find them in different areas, different names, but it's funny. They have this TV show, Finding Bigfoot, but every time I keep hearing about it, nobody found Bigfoot. So I'm assuming, because half the time when people do expedition, uh, uh, doing like travels like this, they'll have cameras up and then they only have so much time and so much money before they have to go back to their lives. And I'm sitting there assuming maybe because they didn't have enough money and time that, you know, he didn't show up that day. But then these guys have a whole show around it and they still didn't find the damn thing. All they're doing is talking about it. I remember the only reason why I remember this because the soup when there was on, they kept making fun of them about it. One, they said one guy said that he heard the Bigfoot having sex. And I'm like, what? Luckily, I didn't watch that episode. I just saw the soup uh, talk about it. So it's just funny. You know, it's so it's such a talk about creature. But, you know, since it's so talked about, shouldn't it be caught on tape by now? Yeah, that's another funny thing. When you see these documentaries of finding Bigfoot or finding this or all that, that, you know, as soon as they, you know, somebody sees something, either they didn't have a camera or when they took a picture, it was so far away or it's so blur. It's like, you know, one of those quotations of like, yeah, so far away, you know, uh, I couldn't get it in time. It was so terrifying. I had to run away. 
I don't know. I just think people are just saying stories just to keep the story up. But hey, who knows? Maybe we'll find some hair and hopefully we'll, it'll be it. Um, is that the so there was no reason why, or you just want because it's just more because it's just more famous. I want to see what all the hype is about Bigfoot. I don't like anything special. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Now here, um, here's another one. Is there a creature that you don't want nobody to find because it terrifies you? Now me. I was just watching Lost Tapes. Do do you remember that show from uh, Animal Planet? Yeah, I think so. It's where, you know how they everybody was going a craze about. I don't know how they say, it, but I call it home video, where you know people are holding the camera and they're talking and they're like making a home video, and it it was that environment feel. You know what I'm talking about? Like Blair Witch Project, yeah. like exactly like that. Yeah. Okay. It's like that where half the episode they were they were doing the video where you know oh this creature's showing up or their situation and and they were running away and the cameras all it, it just felt like they were actually filming the thing you know in real life and then they cut it to where they're talking about the myth and the creature and stuff well I was watching the Jersey Devil like, man that thing creeps me out wings a head of a goat um or something like that and it was something about where this woman was pregnant and her 13th child and it was such a a bother during pregnancy that uh, she wanted to be a devil or something because it was so hard so it was okay at first when it came out but then it turned into a devil and flew away or something stupid so that was like 1700 something that and it still lives in today in new jersey in some forest and they said that forest is protected so you know I don't know how. I mean, you don't really hear any deaths about Jersey Devil, but even though I'm in Nevada, and I don't hear anything about that. But still, it's just kind of it's kind of bizarre how people just may either make up stuff or it actually happens. That's why it's cool of mystery legend of the night. I really like that stuff. But it would terrify me because it just looks creepy. I mean, come on, you're walking out of the street, and right on top of the roof is a bat winged creature that has a goat head, and it's like roaring at you. Yeah, I don't think I want to be tangled with that. It's just, it's just, cre- it kind of creeps me out a little bit. What about you? Do you have one that like creeps you out, or you just don't want nobody to find, or you just don't care which one they find? No, no, no. Don't, don't say that I don't care. Say like you are creeped out about that. It's probably the the Loch Ness monster or mermaids. No, yeah, the Loch Ness monster. You know, they were saying a couple of things on the Nerdist podcast. No, not the podcast, but the Nerdist News on uh, YouTube. One was saying that they found, like, a cavern somewhere where Nessie could be hiding in there. And it was, like, it was like why? Because somebody was pinning. Um, like, like, people do tours, and then they do a ping of finding, like, objects. And they found an object. Well, they didn't find an object. They found, a, like, a cave area. And they were saying that the cavern was so big that it could be wide enough for Nessie to be down there. So it would go down there, and it would pop up once in a while. That's probably where it was hiding. And then they had a theory that there's a portal in one of these caves somewhere. And then they would, um, it would, like, teleport itself back in time to prehistoric age and then like swim around and then come back by accident like there's like just like a portal to the past like a time machine kind of thing so that one was kind of off off over but i kind of believe the other one where there's a like a big cave area where it's like sitting and we're not allowed we're not really going in there but yeah i agree you know you're sitting on there and on the boat and then this huge long neck thing just comes at you it's like that's just creepy it, it, it would just be creepy especially because i don't like water I, I i can't swim can you swim can you swim for <laughs> what are you doing we are live well um, what <sighs> never mind i was in the last part I know you didn't. Typical man. <laughs> You're a typical dude, man. You are so typical. I can't believe it. Even though I'm kind of bad at it, too. All I was saying is I can't swim because water kind of like freaks me out a little bit. What about you? Can you swim? No. Well, then you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to be going in the middle of the lake. 
I would be now. There was a thing. Uh, see, speaking of like being on the lake, I was telling you this before. Uh, this creature named Julia, they were calling it in 1990, 1999, They had sounds like it, I think it was Pacific Ocean or something. Like that. It was in the deepest ocean where nobody would find anything because you can't go so deep or whatever but they were saying they were hearing sounds they thought it was just glaciers pinning but it was just hearing like a like a little grr but the grr the way how it was saying it because it, it's on youtube if you look up julia i would do it on the thing but you know i got i got a stupid microphone in my hand i got another dumb speaker in another hand so can't i got my hands kind of full but if you go on there and, and look up Julia, it's they're saying it's like it looked like a big guppy or something. But it was like it's t long as an Empire State Building. That's how big it is. And the pictures show where the mouth was open, and then what was sailing across the ocean was uh, a cruise ship, and it was really small. So this thing is huge. So that is another reason why I don't want to go on a cruise ship. I want to go on a cruise ship to have fun, but after seeing that, no. I'd rather stay on land and just freak out all the little land animals that we have here. <laughs> now, I got one more situation for you, my friend. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, wait, are you seriously ready? Yeah. My damn. Are you ready? <laughs> one more time. Are you ready? Oh, uh, anyway. Now, this is the one I thought of, and I thought it was cool. You know, have you ever watched documentaries on Bigfoot where somebody's like, out of the blue, when I was just walking down the street, I saw a figure. It looked kind of like Harry. It looked like an ape. It was a man ape. It was Bigfoot. It was like that. You know how when people see an object and it's like across the way and they don't know what to do and they freeze? You know what I'm talking about? Where you just you weren't looking for Bigfoot, but it appeared out of nowhere. You know, you know those documents. Yeah. Okay. Now, the thing is, people think people are crazy and people think that they are a genius. You know, because they saw one. Now, if you were walking across. Okay, okay, there's two. If you were walking across and a Bigfoot came around, what would you do? And would you tell anybody you saw a Bigfoot, even though you took a, you did not take a picture? What would you do at first? Um, do you want to answer this first? Because it, it's not that hard, I don't think. Or do you want to think about it? No, you can answer first. All right, damn. Yep, ladies first. I even know I'm not a girl. Um... I don't know why I didn't think about it. Well, it's kind of obvious. If I come across, you know, an object that's just freaking me out, I just hope I went to the bathroom before because I know I'll be going all over myself. Uh, but it's just like a bear to me. Try to walk away slowly. And maybe, maybe if I had my phone on me, I can whip out my phone and take a picture. But, but I don't know. It kind of depends how close and far away it is. Now, it, I don't think, unless, hmm, unless I got some evidence, like a picture or some hair somewhere, I would never tell anybody, because I don't want people to look at me like I'm a weird, like, oh, here comes another guy in the news saying that he saw Bigfoot, mm-hmm, typical, but if I had proof, heck, yeah, I would be telling people things, because I'll be the one and only t uh, person to show that I have evidence, and forget fame and money, I got evidence. No, wait a minute. That was the whole point of the fame. The, that's the whole point of the evidence, fame and money. No women, though. They don't care. So that's me. I would tell nobody, and I would, like, freak. Uh, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. I wouldn't freak out. I would be stone cold scared because, you know, I don't go out in the world as much, and I already assume I'm going to be scared, wet myself. And I would try to take a picture. That would be it. Other than that, I would try to back up so slow that I don't want to stall on nothing unless it sees me. And then I got to run. So what would you do? If you if it was like far away and you saw an object and it looked like Bigfoot or not, would you? what would you do? And would you walk away? I mean, sorry. Would you tell anybody or would you keep it to yourself? Like if you had no yeah, evidence. Pops, uh, what? Yeah, Pops, I took a picture first. So, okay. Well, wait a minute. You would have your phone. Oh, well, yeah. I see that. Everybody has their phone in hand. So you would take a picture and then what? What would you do? Would you have that look in your face? Yeah, I'd probably just walk away. You would, wait a minute. Are you going to casually walk? Are you going to tiptoe walk? Or are you just going to run? I'm 
I just catch and just walk away. So, like, no big deal. Oh, look, Bigfoot. Later. <laughs> like that? That That's it? You're just going to whistle away, walk away like nothing happened, like you're a cool dude or something like that? You know what? No, that's yeah. like, no, no, no. I, I'm going to tell you this. This is how you're going to really do it. You're going to freak out like I would and then try to, like, you would just probably run away because, you know, whatever. But your story is, man, I saw something, and guess what? I walked away because that's how cool I am. That's your story. You walking away, but in reality, you just you just run. <laughs> but no, no, your answer was uh, you'll casually walk away because you're that cool, but would you tell anybody if you had no evidence? I mean, obviously, you would say something if you had evidence, but if you had nothing, would you tell anybody or would you keep it to yourself? Yeah, probably look just try to kill somebody. Who's that? Oh, sorry, somebody's trying to call me again. So you would keep it to yourself? Yeah, probably kill somebody. Who would you tell? I I would actually tell my friends. That's how far I'd go if I had no evidence. I would tell my friends. There's no way I'm telling the police unless I have evidence. I, it, come on, this is being like a mockery. And then people be like, you saw Bigfoot. Where's your evidence? Ooh. That, that's exactly what's going to happen to me. Because <laughs> I'm a little punk kid thinking that I'm like a little punk myself. So um, who would you tell? Would you tell the police? Yeah, I'll just tell you. Aw, I feel special right about now. Was that it? Well, wouldn't you tell your brother at all? I saw yeah, probably tell you too. You should take a picture of somebody, uh, somebody at a store and say, "I saw a Bigfoot." And it's like some big guy at Walmart <laughs> or Target. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, what else did I write here? See, I got like a pad of paper here. Um, to what is that? If you if you can find, you know what? I got another thing. What happens if you were walking across, uh, you were in the forest, and you came across a body that looked like a Bigfoot, you know, would you try to call somebody to pick up the carcass? Would you take a picture, or would you just leave it alone because you don't want to deal with it? Me? I would try to call somebody. Um, well, if it's in the middle of the woods, maybe I would try to call somebody with a pickup truck and try to pick it up or something, and then come to find out with some guy in a suit, and then they'll call me a murderer. But, yeah, I would either – I would take a picture. I would take some hair samples because you don't know what might happen to that body. And then either try to call someone with a pickup. If not, maybe I can try to call a ranger or something just to get it um, because, you know, that's just – you know, if you really think about it, you don't really see bones or carcasses anywhere, you know, when they're dead. And like how long would they live? Like 150 or something? I mean, who knows? I mean, I mean, come on. They're not, I know they're strong, but they're not invincible. So, I mean, would, would you do that, or what would you do something different? Would you casually walk away? Like, a guy, I saw Bigfoot lying around, and guess what? I walked away. You know why? Because I can. No, 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 wait. Because I'm V-Man. <laughs> would you do that? I most likely know how the courts are. You probably get arrested for murder. No way, even sick for the nap, you know, arrested for murder. What? You know what? You're right. Yeah, yeah. Who's the witness that? It, well, actually, autopsies will show that it died um by either an animal or it natural causes. Because okay, unless it got shot. Or oh, no way. Well, man, that, you know what? You had a good point there. See, there's so many. Like, same as I had a gun and I was hunting deer. And then it got shot by the same rifle a little bit. But you know what? There's so much great autopsies and, you know, crimes uh, specialists. They'll, they'll, they'll get it down to where, you know, how it, you know, like how my story went, how it died, where it died, what bullet came out of, or, you know, if it was natural cause. So, no, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be arrested. I would be in questioned, but I wouldn't be arrested. Well,. No, no, be arrested. Question. I don't know. I don't get in trouble a lot, so I have no idea. I don't even talk to. I don't talk to the police because that's how I roll. So, um, I do miss going out in the woods, though. But sometimes the only thing that kind of well, now I was just thinking about nature again. I miss hiking a little bit. And then you hear all these little ghost stories of mythical creatures out there. So then you don't go alone. <sighs> crazy um well we got plenty of time uh 
You got something to think about before? Oh, oh. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I got, I got some. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. See, this is what happens when you're a podcaster and you don't have everything all together. See, I didn't think on this. Now, I figure, you know, we have plenty. Like we'll run out a little at a time, and then I would figure that, you know, maybe, just maybe, you know, um. I would have everything sorted out, but I don't. I have this picture that I want to tell everybody of a like not a situation, but like what like what weapon would you want? Here, you, you hold on a minute. I gotta I gotta look up the picture, then I gotta see the picture, then we gotta talk about the picture. So this is like one of reasons why nobody will sponsor me, cause I am bad at it. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna talk about this. Remember remember that web uh, choose one uh, situation. Yeah. All right. Now I got. I found this on Facebook. I thought it was amazing. You only get to choose one. Now I already have my choice. I want. I want you to think about it. Maybe I'll ramble on. on hold on. A minute. Here's the choices. Pick uh, one of eight weapons and tell me why you want that weapon. Because um, one's a pokeball. One is the the ring. The Lord of the Rings ring for some odd reason. Um, a wand from Harry Potter, Milmir from Thor, a uh, lightsaber, Green Lantern's ring, a uh, laser blaster. It looks like from Galaxy Quest. You know that laser blast uh, that uh, Tim Allen holds, and the screwdriver from, um, the screwdriver from um, uh, Doctor Who. The reason why I was stuttering on that because I couldn't remember what it came from because I don't watch Doctor Who. Yes. I'm one of the guys that don't watch Doctor Who. You know why? I don't have time to watch Doctor Who. I got other things to watch. Like that 70s show, even though I saw it. <laughs> Stupid Netflix. Anyway. Now did now um what weapon do what weapon would you want to would you want and why? You already saw the picture. I, I messaged you. Do you want me to say my yeah, thing? I'm you want me to say, Oh wait, wait, no, you got an answer? You have an answer? Everybody, shush. He has an answer before me. Continue. Go. A pipe lightsaber. Okay. What color and why? Yeah, probably red. I see that on the only thing, like the only weapon that's actually going to be good because like the other weapon, like, like the po Pokeball, that, that ain't going to do nothing. Well... I assume you have a Pokemon. Um, so you want a red one, so you're the dark side then, right? So you want to be Darth Vader? No, I'll be like the anti-hero. There's no anti-hero in there, I don't think. You know what? No, that's not a choice, man. No, you, no, no, no. That's, that's not a flat-out choice. It's either you're on the good or you're on the bad side. Which side are you on? You said red, so that means you're bad. You're on the dark side. You are the Sith. So that means you're Darth Vader uh, actually, or, or Darth Maul. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on the light side or the dark side. I'm on my side. Oh, brother. So you're a bounty hunter? That's basically what that is. Or, or hey, Han Solo was on his own side before he met Princess Leia and started choosing the other side of Rebels. Okay, fine. You're on. So you're calling yourself V Man. Yeah. And you're you're a a Jedi that has a red lightsaber. I like a Jedi slash bounty hunter. Okay, I can see that. Um, I am picking the Green Lantern ring because I can think of any image I want, so I can have my own lightsaber in green. And I'll be. It's a good uh, ring of because it's the Green Lantern's core on Oa. So that's so really. I can I can come up with like a laser blast. I can even come up with Thor's hammer and pretend of lightning. I mean, it's a whole like whatever you think of. It be it would be a green light. That's the whole point of that ring. Now, now in the Pokeball, like if we chose po a Pokeball, what would come out of the Pokeball? Me would be Charizard. Do you have was your yours would be Pikachu, right? Yeah. All right. 
Uh, the Lord, I think it was kind of ridiculous. The Lord of the Rings ring. Um, come on. The only reason why that's kind of accurate because when you use it, um, you turn invisible. But then Sor was it um, Sauron or the the other guy? I haven't seen it in a while. Y you know, he kind of sees you after a while, so it's like it kind. And then it turns you into a like a, a maniac, so that wouldn't work. Uh, laser guns, I can use that for the Green Lantern ring. Uh, the sonic screwdriver, I have no idea how that works, so I don't know. The wand, I don't really care for magic. I mean, it's okay, but, you know, I might say biggity bobbity boo and then I might blow myself up. <laughs> Milmir, Thor, I don't believe I'm, I don't even think I want to find out if I'm worthy enough of carrying that. I really don't know. I really don't want to know. Um, but you know what, you know, if, if I had to pick a second weapon, it would be a blue lightsaber because I like the color blue. Blue, blue is my favorite color of all times. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, having lightsabers like a Wolverine style, you know, like blades coming out, not all of your hands, but like on top of your hands. So like three of them would coming out. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Three, th six thin ones coming out. And then it's like bring it on and then it's that i think that'd be kind of amazing like think of like new ways of how to doing like uh like light, uh lightsaber um weapons and stuff what would you be second choice hello we we, we don't want to have dead hello? air yeah yeah i'm here what was you what would be your second choice yeah, probably Thor's hammer. So you are worthy of carrying the God of Thunder? So that means you'll rule Asgard. Oh man. I think I'm screwed. I wonder if Green I wonder if Green Lancer's ring can go against the uh God of Thunder's hammer. That'd be kinda interesting. I mean, yeah, you got lightning and stuff, but I don't know. I mean, I can shield it a little bit, but maybe I don't know, maybe I can take it away. Or I can still toss you around because while he's holding a hammer, I can still toss you around. But I don't know, it's kinda strong, so it's kinda half and half. But a lightsaber. Now that wait, maybe it's protected by magic. See, now that's a question right there. Would a lightsaber go against Meal Mirror? I don't know. I don't know all the facts, but if it could, it could because it's metal, but then it's also magic. So, and it's also like God power. So maybe not. Man, it's like questions that I don't know answers to. Man, that that'd be that'd be an awesome battle. I feel bad for the force. Though. Yeah, but why don't you guys could do something like with the hammer to the face? That's like murder unless they're strong. Wait, you would hit somebody in the face with a hammer? You're a monster. I mean, I mean, you tell you that you don't have the ring. All I do is just throw that hammer. Oh, I know that, but I'm just saying, um, maybe, oh, maybe, maybe the green can catch that hammer and throw it. I mean, there's certain ways of doing it. I mean, maybe a fan uh, throwing it back, or no, think of a tornado and it'll swoop around there and then throw it back at you. What do you think of that? Or a slingshot? I mean, there's so many ways, but it's just it kind of depends how. How strong that hammer is. That's the thing. I mean, it could break my light, you know, because it's not, it's not indestructible like the hammer, but I could try to slingshot it back at your ass. So it just kind of depends. I, I don't know how it would work out that way. But how be going too fast for you to do it? Going too fast? What would be going too fast? What, the tornado? The Green Lanterns. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw a hammer. I'm gonna a hammer. It's a hammer coming coming at you by charge it with the lightsaber. Oh, we're talking about the lightsaber now. You know, if I think, well, yeah, I would have the force, so maybe I can like force it away. Like I can force it upward, maybe. You know, I can probably dodge it for a little bit, and then maybe later on choke for choke force you. I would learn that skill. Now, before we go. Are you going to be the anti-hero uh, Thor-like, or you're going to be a king of Asgard? Or, no, a prince. No, king. Are you going to be king, or are you going to be an anti-hero where you just do whatever you want? Yeah, I'm always going to be like the anti-hero. Oh, my damn it. You know what? You know what? You do this to me every time. I I'm not mad or anything, but it's just that you do this every time. It's like... 
I think I do that too, where I don't want to hurt, like get into like you know, like oh, oh, I can't believe you're going to be this, or oh, I can't believe that. And you want to be in the middle, so you can try to please everybody a little bit. I mean, I understand you have your own agenda, but come on, you can, you got to have a straight answer because you do that every th- every time, especially when we were playing Grand Theft Auto and stuff. It's like, what where do you want to play? I don't care. It's like that. So okay, anti hero. You know what? I bet you never heard if you never saw Deadpool the movie, you would never heard of anti hero before. I guarantee it. You and you would probably give me a straight answer. I guarantee it. Yeah, I don't wanna be like no this good two shoe good guy or this like evil guy. Hey, there's a lot of good guys that are not goody two shoes. It's called Wolverine. Don't you remember him? He's not a bad guy. He's not an anti hero. He's a hero. He just has an anger problem. The Hulk has an anger problem too. You know, he doesn't want to be bothering anything. I mean, there's some people are not goody two shoes, um, and and they're okay. Well, that's the end of the podcast. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. We do enjoy you listening, and I hope you uh, enjoy us uh, watching me play a game and li- and talk about. Let us talk about everything and nothing. Um, you can catch me at the tweets at skullcap at skullcap uh, twelve eighteen, and my fan page on Facebook is fan life power within and at v-man you can catch him um at the tweets um (laughs) i get so confused because you got so much going on um at the tweets is founded virgil uh his fan page is uh, v-man laidback gamer and his youtube is at laidback gamer also well v-man laidback gamer so until next time be nice to each other have a good day man (laughs) anti-hero so no matter what you're just a bounty hunter that just or you're just a guy that hey i'll help you out but you're like luke cage you want you're like a hero for hire like you know what i'll help you out for money that's basically anti-hero too they would do things for favors that's what an anti-hero man is they're not like too much of a hero but they'll take they'll they'll ask for a bargain basically Sorry, Verge. You you turned into Luke Cage. Not a bad thing, but you know, come on. If you were being a hero, you're trying to be like you know a volunteer, not trying to get paid for it. You ever you ever, you ever wonder how I just turn things around back at you? <laughs> I'm a monster. Yeah, because when when Wayne's actually the anti-hero. No, he's a hero, man. He just has anger problems. He goes out there. He just <laughs> anti-hero is just mainly just like um, they 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 do things to help a little bit, but they they do it over an extreme. So you know, and their own selfish needs sometimes. So it just kind of depends. So I I believe that's what an anti-hero mainly is. But hey hey, anybody in the comments, correct me. Um. Hey, if anybody wants to have fun, who would you, what creature would you want to find in the woods? Leave the comments below and let's have some fun. And well, everybody have a good day. I end these podcasts so weird. It's just amazing. Bye. <laughs>